Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. It's Tuesday again. Holy cow. This whole year has just gone by. I cannot believe that it is April. I'm like, the first quarter of the year is gone. I just, that's crazy. Uh, but what I've been trying to do on Tuesdays or somewhere during the week is let you all know what I found or remind you of things that I found that are free for a limited time that you might want to join in on. I mean, if you don't want to, that's obviously up to you. Nobody's going to make you. But if you're interested, you can collect patterns just like I do. So this is your first time. Well, thank you. Welcome aboard. Go ahead and like and subscribe because you'll want to keep doing these things weekly. What I have found is there is a designer on Ravelry and she is doing blanket squares. Yeah, they're pretty much blanket squares. Every week, one a week, all year long. Oh yeah, you heard it right, 52 squares. And the first week that the pattern is released is free. Oh my goodness, is that not cool? Uh, so this one, she's in Paris, so it's a Paris time. So this one was free the 1st of April to the 7th of April. I think that's what it is. I'll verify, but it's Paris time. So make sure you play with all that. So her name is Anne Regord. This is pattern square number 14. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I am, and per usual, or, you know, at least what I've been doing lately, I went ahead and I started it. I cast it on as soon as I got it. I went ahead and cast it on, dropped it on the floor. And I asked my mother-in-law who's visiting, she was here for Easter. Oh my goodness, that is always a fun blast. We had a great time and she's still here, which is wonderful. But uh, we had so many family members over for Easter and uh, I said, okay, what's the next color? My last one was this bright orange because I wanted four squares with this because I have some crazy ideas I'm planning on putting those together to make a blanket that I'll end up later in the year donating to Camp Boggy Creek. So surprisingly, she didn't pick another bright orange. Go figure. But she did pick this yellow. So this is the Varsity Yellow Color, big twist value, 380 yards per skein. And you can get two squares from one skein. Awesome. Great deal. So I started it. And I, I was going to, uh, you know, show it and everything was on double pointed needles. So then you could kind of see the more squared, but I got excited and I continued and you're like, it's a blob. I know, but it's a pretty blob. And I got that stitch out there. Okay. So look at that. So, you know, it's bright. It's beautiful where I am right now. I know it just looks like a little hat. You could turn it into a hat. You could do anything you want to. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying this. I have my size eight needles because that's what I chose, uh, setting out my double points, always ready, and then my circulars ready to go. I am, I think like round 23, 24, there's 46 pattern rounds, and then you do the garter stitch edging. And I can show you in the picture where I'm at since that's just kind of a scrunched up blob of gorgeousness. See all the, right here, that's where I'm at, right there. So I've got all that stock in it. And then I'm starting into more patterning things. And each round gets a little bit bigger, a little longer. That's okay. And I'm not really caring which color I use next for my squares. Because I don't really have a rhyme or reason on how I want to put them together. It just dawned on me, I think yesterday, that um, if I do four squares by five squares, that's going to be a good person size blanket. You know, uh, a nice snuggly thing. Because each one of my squares right here when they're done, it's like 16 and a half inches. Uh, this one, I think was square 13. This one was fast. This one right here, that was the fastest I've ever done any of them, right? I got it done. And when I did my Tuesday video, it was finished. I'm like, holy cow, I've not done any faster than that. This one to this point, very fast too. Really surprised. Um, but I'm having a blast with these. And, and I started thinking, it's like, wait a minute, they're 16 and a half inches, right? So, you know, it's like, okay, 32, 33 inches would be two squares. So 66 inches would be four. And that's not counting on any extra border trim. You know how we can add things in between when we connect them. I mean, you can do it to where it's not adding a bunch or you can do it to where it's adding a lot. Uh, you know, but that's 
that's a pretty decent size because what is it 60 by 90 is a twin so it'd be you know a little fatter a little wider than twin and then if you went down four you know 66 by 60 66 and 66 would be you know 16 squares four squares by four squares so if you did five squares i mean that's a decent blanket size right and i'm doing one of these a week so far all right, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to have options to do other blankets. Uh, right now, my favorite thought process is to add all the chaos colors and, and make some really fun things. Now that I have uh, downstairs my big twist yarn wall done, I can see, you can tell I gravitate towards certain bright colors, no doubt. But now that I've got that right there, once I get an office chair or something to sit at the desk, I can kind of sit in front of it as a muse. And then... Um, kind of piece together how I want those colors to work out. This I think would be stunning doing the same thing with the same concept with the yellow. And then I really like adding, especially with this purple, that bright, this green right here, that that's called slime green, by the way, that and the hot pink. I think those right there, they just, they, they just make me go, wow. You know, so I'm excited about that continuing to work on my squares, getting some other stuff done, having fun. You know, um, I just realized that uh, last week, I think the most complicated thing I did pattern wise was the square. Everything else was very, very simple, very easy. Um, this was simple and easy. This was fast. It flew off the needles. But what I'm getting at is each one of these squares, it's its, its own unique um just crazy chaotic they're not necessarily crazy and chaotic but you know just it's unique pattern source and challenge but it's a small challenge right it's it's not anything really big and you can put a few of them together and you've got something great or turn it into pillows if you wanted to make throw pillows front and back that type of a situation or like I plan on doing making small blankets with them or you could use smaller yarn too. You don't have to use worsted weight yarn in size eights and they don't have to be that big as far as squares are concerned. Or if you're interested, collect all of them. I mean, why not? You know, collect them while they're free. You know, if you decided to do them, great. And if you decide not to, that works out too. I can see, for me personally, making a bunch of this square. I like this one. This one just flew off the needles and I love just everything about it. And this, I know you can't really, it's just a bright yellow, but this at this point did the same thing and it's exciting. So there's a few of the squares I've made that um, just tickle my fancy with all of that and the speed. Now there's some other ones, definitely go back and look at all, I'll have her link down below. Uh, but there's some other ones that have a lot of texture and I love texture and yarn movement, but they take a little bit more to execute, right? So you kind of have to have some uh, relief ones, some that'll take, you know, that are just a little more simple, uh, easier to work with or quicker. Let's just face it, they're quicker. And, uh, you know, you have some really pizzazz ones that are just, um, you look at and you're like, wow, that's amazing. And others that'll like relief for your eyes, right? You need to have that, you know? Uh, so I'm having such an amazing blast with this. I cannot imagine as a designer that uh, what Anne is doing and releasing 52 of these, the amount of work that she has put into this is just incredible. Oh, and she's got a lot of other designs too. I'm not affiliated with anyone. I just like to tell you fun things that I find that I find absolutely amazing that you might want to join in on also. With that, I'm going to go ahead and let you go because I have company right now. I'm going to go out and I'm going to visit. All right, everybody. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.